Hello and welcome, Lord Raymond, and welcome to the Lord Touch Prayer and Accessory Ministries, and welcome to the Lord Living and Have Holiness Chapel. This is my chapel, ladies and gentlemen. Not the biggest chapel in the world, but you are my congregation, and I'm going to teach you the Word of God today. Today we will be talking about slaying the giants. As you remember the last video, the last slaying of the giant was anger. This is the second video of 11 videos that I will be doing. This one will be slaying the giants of discouragement. Yes, we get discouraged. Oh man, things are not going my way. What's going on? How can I... That's discouragement. But in the meantime, praise God. I want to say, God is good, ladies and gentlemen. He is good. Yes, sir. Yeah. He is wonderful. But I also want to tell you, too. God's not dead. He is surely alive. That's right. Remember that song by the new boy. Praise God and thank you, Lord, for not being dead in my life. I am a Christian, Reverend Raymond, with love. I hope you are a Christian too. Praise God. I also want you to know, I love Jesus. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Praise the Lord. I hope you do, because Jesus is the wonderful one. And you notice that I've been posting the new logo for 2016 I declare victory walking with Jesus walking with Jesus not only do we spiritually got to walk with him but we got to physically walk with him we've got to put our bodies in shape stay in shape God loves you he always has, he always will Yes, sir. He offers you eternal life. I want to declare today that I declare all, I can do all things who Christ strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Praise the Lord. We got a little coolness in here. A little warm back here. Yes, sir. There we go. I can do all things if Christ strengthens me. But I also declare that with God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. I declare that all things are possible to him who he believes. If you believe as I believe, declare it that things are possible. If you have a prayer request, please email me at lordshouseofprayer@yahoo.com, or you can get on my Facebook page if you're one of my Facebook friends, or in one of my groups that I have, or in my ministry group. You can contact me through them asking for prayer. I'd be more than happy to put you on my list to be able to pray with you. Yes. For everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Philippians 4 6. If you got a prayer request, request it to God. And I will pray with you because Matthew 18 19 says, Two or more gathered in my name, I am in the midst of thee. Yes. And we must confess ourselves before men. So Jesus can confess to our Father. And please do not deny him before men. Because he will deny you before the Father. And remember, the last thing is, Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Philippians 2, 10-11. Reverend Raymond Schmidt, I am from the United States of America. I live in Oklahoma. Yes, I am an Okie. 
No, I don't live in Muskogee. Oh, very funny. All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessings of Him. I ask thee, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to put a hand upon us today as we learn today's message. As we learn to slay this, this, this giant of discouragement. As we learn the words of the passages that you put forth to us. So we might be able to walk with the blessings of you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Alright. Slaying a giant of discouragement. It's part two. Yes, sir. Part two. You need to claim these scriptures. You claim these scriptures to overcome discouragement. Deuteronomy 33, 27. The eternal God of your refuge. And the underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy for, before you and will say, destroy. It will destroy your discouragement if you stay underneath his everlasting arms. Next one I want to say, Joshua 1 9. I have not command you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Because God is with you at all times. The third one I'm going to put out. Psalm 27, 14. Wait on the Lord. Be good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Don't get discouraged. Wait on the Lord to come to you. He will give you their encouragement to, to overcome this. Psalms 46, 1 through 3. God is our refuge and strength. Oh, that's powerful. Yeah, he's our refuge and he's the strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried unto the midst of the sea, through its waters war and be trembled, through the mountain's shape it is swelling. Remember, the God gives you strength to overcome the troubles of the earth. And the mountain that got moved in your life. He will cast them into the seas for you. And he will make the mountains shake. Make the mountains shake with swelling. Do not be discouraged. Psalm 61 2. From the end of the earth I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Ooh, yeah, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Standing on the firm of the foundation of God. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. And then the last one I want to put you in the slaying the discouragement. Second Corinthians four sixteen. Yes. Therefore. We do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Wow. What does that mean? Our outward appearance is perishing away. In other words, we're getting older. We're starting to get wrinkles, lose our memory, our eyesight, our hearing. But you can still have the blessings of God in your heart. Your inner man is being renewed day by day with the Spirit of God. 
I want to thank Him in the name of Jesus. Father, thank Thee in the name of Jesus as we slay the giants of this discouragement. The passages that You give us to overcome the discouragement. We cast Thee out the unclean spirits of discouragement. We cast Thee out of our lives. For Jesus is the Lord of our lives. Jesus died at the cross for us. For we can bow to our knees at the feet of cross, at His cross. Looking up, raising our hands to Him. Accepting Him for who He is. To defeat our sins. Defeat our anger. Defeat our discouragement. And we thank Thee in the name of Jesus as we stand on Your Word. Your Word is true in our lives. We pray Thee. We lift Thee. We alter. We lift Your name above all names. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. I'm Reverend Random. And uh, did you know God loves you? He always has. He always will. He offers you eternal life. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Yes, sir. I encourage you today to spend time in the Word. Spend some time in the Word of God. I also encourage you, if you are now beginning to know or hear or understand, wanting to understand the Word of God, get with somebody, get with a church, or you can come with me and I will try to teach you. We will not, I will not discourage you away from the Word of God, for the Word of God is right here, the Bible. What is the Word of God? The God is from Genesis to Revelation. Everything in it you need to know is there today. For you, today, tomorrow, and our future. Jesus says, I am the way, the life, and the truth. No man cometh to the Father but through me. I am the same yesterday. I am the same today. I will be the same tomorrow. He never changes. I hope that you fervently desire, while you're with us, to encounter the presence of the Holy Ghost. I hope you have the importance of the elements of the, that we meticulously cultivate and allow to flourish in our lives. I pray in the name of Jesus that you make Lord's House of Prayer and Accessory Ministries a place to study with the Word of God with me. I'm Reverend Raymond. I endorse this message. I thank you. May the Lord bless you and have a hand of favor upon you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen.